What does a criminal lawyer do? Uh, a good example would be a jury, a jury trial, where your client is on trial for some offence that's alleged against them. Uh, part of what you're doing there is, is picking a jury or getting a jury sworn in. And it's always good to have an understanding of the, of the jury panel before you. For instance, if you've got uh, your client has is is been charged with assaulting a taxi driver, well, the last thing you want to do is to make is to let a taxi driver get onto the jury panel. Because if he gets onto the jury panel, he's very likely going to be biased against your client. So at trials, you have to kind of sift through the, the occupations, the addresses of the of the jury, and make sure that there's nothing in there that's going to be adverse to your client getting a fair trial. Who has the burden of proof in a criminal case? The state, the government, um, the prosecutor, uh, however, you, however you want to put it. They're the ones who have the, the burden all the time. And it never shifts from them uh, to the defendant. In, like, in civil cases, the burden of proving something can sometimes move to the defendant to kind of disprove something. But in criminal cases, it never leaves the prosecution. They have to shoulder it all the way through to the end. And they must prove every element of uh, the case beyond a reasonable doubt. If you have a defense as a defendant, then the state have to disprove your uh, defense. They have to show that couldn't be the case. Uh, so uh, it, it sometimes the, the burden does switch, uh, switch a little bit um, to the defendant, but rarely in, in nearly every criminal case, all the way through start to finish, it's the state and they must prove it, as I said, beyond a reasonable doubt, always. How long does cocaine stay in your urine? Um, good question. The, the standard answer would be approximately four days, but that's obviously it varies from one person to the next. Um, we're all different, and um, but generally speaking, I think most medical professionals uh, would say, respected medical professionals, uh, would uh, acknowledge that urine uh, that cocaine does stay in your urine for up to four days. Beyond that, then it starts to. Uh, deconstruct and pass through, but it, it will be there four days after you've consumed it.